Hi everyone, uh, as Joe said, I'm Martin. I'm Senior Teaching and Learning Administrator in the Teaching and Learning Team. So if you haven't yet applied and, yet, and you're joining us today, just find out a bit more before you do apply. Uh, it's just to make you aware that our most of our programs have a closing date at the end of March, so the 31st of March. So if you haven't applied yet, we'd encourage you to do so as soon as possible. Um, and we'd always sort of encourage that you apply as early as you can um, to, to give yourself the best chance of getting onto the programmes. Uh, we're a very popular department and a lot of our courses um, have a huge volume of applications that come in and it's it's not um, in the realms of, kind of, of being impossible that some of our programmes will close early as they fill spaces. So we'd always uh, encourage you to apply as soon as you can. Um, so if you were to apply now, that, that would be perfect. Um, if you have already applied, just to give you a bit of information as to what to expect in the process, um, once you've applied, your application will go along to our graduate admissions team who will carry out some initial checks on your um, application. Um, that includes ensuring that all the supporting documentation is in place, uh, that you've provided referee details and, and, and you know, similar things like that. Uh, once the team are satisfied that you've got everything um, in place that you need, your application will be referred to uh, the department and will be um, passed on to the admission, admissions tutor for consideration. Uh, we normally say from that point that it reaches us in the department to allow kind of up to six weeks for that review to take place. Um, we, it can sometimes take longer. As I said, we've got um, extremely popular courses and there are lots of applications that the admissions tutors are reviewing um, uh, in a period of time. So it can, it can sometimes take longer for that. Um, once it's been reviewed, if you're successful, um, you'll be made in most cases a conditional offer and you'll be given an offer letter by our graduate admissions team, which will give you a date by which to accept um, onto the programme. So uh, if, you, if you're if you not accepting by that date, um, it may be that your offer's withdrawn. So it's just to highlight the importance of, of just keeping an eye out on that offer date um, and making sure that you do do that in time. Um, once you've had the conditional offer, uh, if you meet the conditions uh, of, your, of the offer, you'll then have basically an unconditional offer, at which point you'll receive an email from uh, the university to pre-enroll on the programme. And that's just a case of uh, confirming your details um, and, and, and just signing um, some various bits off. Uh, in preparation for coming to university. Once you've completed the pre-enrollment, you'll then be invited again to start selecting your modules um, in line with your program diets and, and the framework um, there. And then once your module selection is done, uh, you're pretty much ready to start. And, that, and that's what to expect from the point of making the application to actually joining us within the university.